The Toyota Land Cruiser is a series of four-wheel drive, full-size sport utility vehicle with seating for eight passengers and was produced by the Japanese car manufacturer Toyota. It is Toyota's longest running series and looks a lot similar to the Lexus LX570 from the exterior with a history going on all the way back to 1957 and a legion of loyal fans all around the world the 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser is one of the best known SUV on the road today the 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser has a loyalty unmatched by any other SUV the product of over 60 years of global adventure it's a sophisticated blend of off-road progress on-road comfort and unparalleled refinement for 2016 the Toyota Land Cruiser gets a new revised front end, LED lightning and chrome side molding with Land Cruiser logo that helps give this SUV an unmistakable present. It also gets a new 8-speed automatic transmission for better acceleration. New safety features include a front collision avoidance system with pedestrian detection, plus a blind spot and rear cross traffic warning system. Inside, the Land Cruiser also gets an updated dash. It is a new sleek dash design that incorporates a large high resolution touchscreen display and updated intuitive controls. And it all comes finished with the exceptional quality you have come to expect from a Land Cruiser. It also features a new Antune infotainment system with Siri Eyes free technology and QI wireless phone charger and a new dual screen rear seat video entertainment system for the rear passenger. Up front, the new Toyota Land Cruiser looks very aggressive thanks to many of the new features it comes with, starting with the new projector LED headlight with LED daytime running light as well as turn signal light. And here's a closer look at the headlight. A pair of LED fog lights are also standard on this model. And in the middle is the aggressively looking gray grille with a smoke finish and chrome accents around it. Park assists are also integrated into the front bumper. And here is a closer look at the grille with Toyota logo in the middle. Front surround camera are also located under the Toyota logo. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. Very nice looking front end. Now looking at the side, this particular model comes standard with 18 inch alloy wheels with 285 60 tires. Behind the wheel is the set of power assisted internally ventilated disc brake with a post 4 piston brake caliber for the front. Brake caliber are painted in silver. And there you can see the running boards that is your entry and exit and the new chrome side molding with Land Cruiser lettering on it. Body color side view mirror with integrated turn signal indicator. Side camera are also integrated into the side view mirror. On top you can see the sunroof that can be tilted up or slide open for an open air feeling. And you can also see the uh, black roof rails there. Rear wheels are also 18 inches and comes with 285 60 tires as well. It also features a power assisted internally ventilated brake disc with two piston brake caliber for the rear and also comes with star safety system which includes stability control, traction control, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist as well as smart stop technology. Tire pressure monitoring system are also equipped on all four wheels. To the back, you see the LED tail lamp. Integrated into the tail lamp is the LED brake lamp as well as turn signal lamp. Very good looking tail lamp. And there you have the long chrome piece that runs across the lift gate with the Land Cruiser lettering on it. And also V8 badge on the trunk lid. At the bottom, you see the single exhaust tip located under the rear bumper. Rear deflectors as well as park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper. And there you have the spare tire. 
as well as the towing hitch that can tow a maximum amount of 8,100 pounds of towing capacity and there you have the light plug, towing hitch is located behind that plate rear view camera is located right above the license plate and will activate once the vehicle is in reverse on top you have the roof spoiler with integrated third LED brake light okay so here I have the remote with our Toyota logo on the back on the remote I have the lock, unlock and panic button now let's open it up and check out the interior so the Land Cruiser does come equipped with smart access key system with a key in your pocket just press the button located on the door handle once to lock after a few seconds place your hand behind the door handle to unlock the exterior color is known as Blizzard Purr featuring two-tone interior with black on the dash and door panels and brown leather on the seat with silver accenting trims and wood trims all around very luxurious interior now let's jump into the driver's seat start it up and see how it sounds so with your foot on the brake just push the start button to start Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser have to offer. Under the hood is a 5.7 liter V8 engine. DOHC 32 valve with dual variable valve timing with intelligence, 8 speed automatic transmission, full time four wheel drive with traction and torsion limited locking and limited central differential. It is pushing out 381 horsepower and 401 pound field of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in 6.8 seconds. EPA estimated fuel economy is 13 city, 18 highway, and 15 combined very impressive engine now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior here is a look at the driver's side door panel it is all black with brown in the middle section with wood trims and aluminum trims all four windows are fully automatic and there you have the door lock and unlock as well as window lock, three position memory setting, there's the uh, speaker, JBL speaker system, door storage compartment, Land Cruiser aluminum door seal, and there's the pedal and a closer look at the seat very nice looking seat now both front seats feature a premium perforated leather trim and it also comes with heated and ventilated front seat with gray identified backrest and feature 10-way power adjustable driver seat with three position memory sitting for driver seat steering wheel as well as outside mirror The leather trim, power tilt and telescopic four spoke steering wheel feature silver accenting trims and wood trims on top and bottom. Looks and feel very nice. 
It also features multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, Bluetooth wireless mobile phone, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel on the left you have the uh, light controlled as well as turn signal light controlled. And over to the right you have the windshield wiper controlled. Steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column. And over to the right hand side you have the button for your pre-collision system alert. And here's a look at the instrument cluster with a large screen in the middle that uh, shows important information directly in front of the uh, driver. And you can control it via the buttons located on the steering wheel. So as you can see it shows you the uh, tire pressure level, radio, your oil maintenance, and uh, cruise control, messages, your blind spot monitoring system, schedule maintenance, oil maintenance, all kind of uh, different uh, menus and over to the left here you have the driver side event and there you have the knob to control the interior lightning and the odometer trip meter beautiful wood trims and aluminum trims there there you have the RSCA button side view mirror controlled and it does feature folded option there you have the headlight washer button and there's the park assist on and off and the uh, auto high beam and there you have like a little slot I'm not sure what that's for but uh, it's not a storage compartment there you have the gas and the hood release lever and here's a look at the dash now this model comes standard with the Antune premium JBL audio system with 9 inch high resolution touchscreen display that feature Antune premium audio system with 14 JBL speakers and amplifier for a better audio experience so located centrally on the dash here, you have the huge 9-inch uh, touchscreen display. Beautiful accenting trims around it. And it is very responsive to the touch. I really love the new dash design. There you have the home button, navigation, info apps, and emergency has a light, audio, telephone, and setup. Let's go into navigation. So navigation looks uh, very similar to the one in the uh, Lexus. It is very responsive as well. And there you have the Antune app suite, fuel consumption, traffic incident, and weather. So let's check out current weather. And you do have the option for three days or six hours and a half ahead of time. And here's the audio. Let me pick a station for you. very nice sound quality and there you have the telephone button inside setting you have general and under general you have clock language and button colors and uh, all kind of different uh, settings general settings voice Bluetooth audio traffic display navigation vehicle phone and tune app suite and let's go into a uh, vehicle there you have maintenance vehicle customization inside maintenance you have all kind of a uh, reminder for your maintenance and vehicle customization you can customize the vehicle setting to your preferred setting Toyota park assist And there you have the uh, data service setting. Down here you have the uh, full zone climate control here. You can change the temperature, the fan speed, that's the start and stop engine button. And here you have the power on and off and volume control. There you have the uh, micro SD card slot inside that uh, little tray. It's for data transfer and uh, navigation uh, maps. And there you also have the knob on the right to uh, turn it so you can uh, change to different uh, station and stuff. And here you have the uh, small storage compartment with a 12 volt power plug. And down here you have your heated steering wheel button. 
There you have the heated and ventilated seats, three stage for both the driver and front passenger, and there's your USB and auxiliary input. And here you have the gear shift lever. Just pull it down to get into reverse, and once you're in reverse, the uh, rear view camera and over the top camera will appear on the multimedia screen. And you can also pick uh, different angles of the camera. And down again for neutral, down again for drive, over to the left for sport. That's when you can push it up or down to change gear. And push it up again for park. Very nice touch. And there you also have the camera button, just in case you need to view the uh, exterior. Over to the right you have the uh, L4 and H4 button. You can lower it or raise it up. And there you have your turn assist button. And next to it you have the uh, crawl control button. And I think you have to put it into L4 in order to use it. And this is the uh, knob to uh, change the crawl setting. Down here you have the ECT power, ECT second. Traction on and off. And I'm not sure what that button is for, and uh, but I'm pretty sure it have to do something with the uh, steering or the suspension. If you know exactly what it is, let me know in the comment section below. Here you have dual cup holders with very nice aluminum trims. There's the uh, hand parking brake. Center storage compartment is wrapped in leather. You also have a uh, cool box here to store your beverages. Very nice feature. There's the dash. Glove box compartment. Beautiful trims on the dash. And a closer look at the seat. Great upholstery material. And I love that brown leather seat. So on top here you have the SOS Safety Connect to use in case of an emergency. And you do have the one touch open, close and tilt uh, sunroof. So the sunroof can be tilted up for ventilation or slide open for an open air filling. I really wish it has panoramic sunroof though. There you have the uh, light controlled. You have the spotlight and the uh, on and off light and the sunglasses holder. Rear view mirror with three button universal garage door opener. Sun visor mirror. And it also comes with the second visor right there. All right, now let's take a look at the uh, second row seat. So second row seats offer seating for three, as you can see. And it does offer plenty of uh, leg room. And it does feature a 40, 20, or 40 split option, just in case you need to fold it down. And in the back here, it has seating for three. And you can also fold it down into 50 or 50 split. Very spacious rear seat. Okay, so here's a look at the rear driver side door panel. It is all black with brown metal uh, insert and uh, wood trims. Rear windows are also automatic. There you have the uh, speakers in the storage compartment, the aluminum door seal, and there's the running boards. Make your get in and out very easy. So here's a look to the front cabin. Looks really nice. On top you have the uh, sunroof. And down here you have your full zone climate control for the rear passenger. As well as the uh, heated rear seat. Down here you have the volume control for each individual uh, rear passenger. The headphone jack. The HDMI uh, plug. And the same goes to this side here. There you have another 12 volt power plug. So I'm 5'8", and I still have about 7 or 8 inches left in the leg room. There you have the rear seat pocket. And you do have two large uh, screen in the back of the uh, front seat. 
you can also tilt it like such on top you have the light control and here you have the handball and the hook and the air vent on top same goes to the side and here's the rear armrest with a storage compartment and the slot for your remote control it also comes with a dual cup holder very nice alright now let's check out the uh, third row seat so to fold down the second row seat all you have to do is pull that lever and then pull it up but uh, you're gonna have to be real careful of the TVs right there just in case you uh, fold it up too hard and it might damage that screen and so it's uh, once you have it folded it's very easy to get access into the third row seat let's see how third row seat is with the seat folded down So right now I'm in the third row seat with the seat folded up and I still have about one or two inches left in leg room. You also have an air vent on top, hand bar and a hook and uh, a light on top. Headroom is not a problem for me and there you also have two cup holders and uh, more storage compartment. Same goes to the side. Rear seats are well padded as well. Like I mentioned earlier there is sitting for three in the back. And you also have the third person headrest there and here's a look to the back trunk. That's the seat belt for the third person. So to get out just uh, pull the lever again and push the seat up to get out. And it is quite easy to do so. Not much work. Alright now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. So as you can see the uh, lift gate is divided into uh, two sections. One on top and one at the bottom. The bottom portion is open like the uh, one you found on the uh, pickup truck for easier load in and out. So without the uh, third row and second row seat folded you're not going to get a lot of cargo space in this uh, Land Cruiser just like uh, every other SUV there you have the uh, 110 volt power plug so to fold down the uh, third row seat you have to pull that uh, string right there and then flip the uh, lever located at the bottom to flip it up and you have to do the same on this side but first you have to fold down the uh, headrest first alright so once you've done that you have a lot more cargo space and if you need more you can fold down the second row seat as well like such that way you get a lot more cargo space and you can fold it into 60 or 40 split and to put down the third row seat, just fold that, uh, just pull that lever, and you can uh, push it back into place, and then pull that string again to uh, put it up in the uh, back right position. I wish this is all automatic though; it'd be a lot better and a lot easier. Here you have the two panel on the back of the uh, trunk for smaller items or maybe to store your tools then you have the pillows, the headphones so there's no close button here you have to manually uh, close the lift gate okay so to release the gas cap just pull the gas cap lever right there and gas cap is located on the passenger side it does not require premium unlit fuel and holds approximately 24.6 gallons of fuel. Overall, the 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser is a full-size SUV with seating for 8 passengers. Rear seating space are very spacious 
and offer a very generous amount of leg rooms and headroom with 38.9 inches in headroom, 68.6 in hip room, 34.4 leg rooms, and 61.1 shoulder room. I'm pretty sure that there's plenty of space for anyone to be really comfortable, even on a long road trip. Now front cabins are very spacious as well, with very nice upholstery material, and nicely silver accenting trims and wood trims all around. I'm pretty sure everyone on board will be very comfortable. And here's another look to the second row seat. So let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. Alright, so like I mentioned earlier, very spacious and very comfortable. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And as always, I'm going to uh, take it out for a short drive. Just to show you guys how it's like uh, being on the uh, driver's seat. So it does give me the feeling that I'm driving in a uh, super luxury vehicle. It is very heavy as well and at the same time it is very smooth. Ride quality are very smooth. And it is very uh, easy to control the vehicle. And as far as uh, visibility, I can see clearly throughout any vi uh, window. It is a great vehicle so far. So here I found the original parking spot. I'm going to uh, put it back into its place and show you how it's like uh, backing up. So as you can see, once, uh, once I put it into reverse, the backup camera and over the top camera will appear on the multimedia screen with guidance line that will help you uh, that will help guide you back into the uh, parking space so overall I would highly recommend this vehicle for anyone with our family and a lot of kids alright guys I'll see you guys next time